Now, let's talk about ventilation. In respiratory physiology, ventilation is a movement of air into and out of the respiratory system by inhalation and exhalation. It is extremely important to differentiate between total ventilation and alveolar ventilation. Total ventilation is not difficult to understand. During normal quiet breathing, the volume of air inspired and expired with each breath is approximately 500 mils. This is known as the resting tidal volume. The normal resting respiratory frequency or respiratory rate is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Taking an average rate of 15 breaths per minute, the total ventilation is calculated by the formula VE equals VT times F. Normal resting values would be 500 mils times 15 breaths per minute equals 7500 mils per minute. This means that every minute your lung system receives 7500 mils of air. It is extremely important to note that not all air from this 7500 mils reaches the alveoli and is involved in gas exchange. Some of air stays in conducting zone of the lungs. It is important to note that there are two zones in a lung system, conducting zone and respiratory zone of the lungs. The conducting zone of the lung system is all the structures which air passes through before reaching the respiratory zone. The conducting zone includes the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and terminal bronchioles. Their function is to filter, warm, and moisten air and conduct it into the lungs. The conducting zone finally adjoins to the respiratory zone. Let me zoom this part here. The respiratory zone is composed of alveoli and is the site of oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange with the blood. It is important to note when a person breathes in, some of air never reaches the gas exchange areas, I mean alveoli, but this air simply fills respiratory passages, the conducting zone where gas exchange does not occur. These respiratory passages where gas exchange does not occur is called anatomic dead space, sometimes anatomical dead space. The size of the anatomic dead space in mils is approximately equal to a person's weight in pounds. Thus, a 150 pound individual has an anatomic dead space of 150 mils. It is important to note that significant gas exchange with the blood occurs in alveoli. This brings us to alveolar ventilation. Consider the lung as a simple balloon model. This part is the conducting zone, anatomical dead space, and this part is respiratory zone, alveoli. When you breathe out and expire the tidal volume, which is 500 mils, still 150 mil of air remain in anatomic dead space in a conducting zone. This volume comes from the alveoli when you breathe out and is not a part of tidal volume because you already expired 500 mils. During inspiration, when a person breathes in the tidal volume, which is 500 mils, anatomic dead space already has 150 mils air and the first 150 mils of air to reach the alveoli comes from the anatomic dead space, not from the inspired tidal volume. Please note this. Again, it is the air that has remained in the dead space at the end of expiration and has the same composition as alveolar gas.
When its 150 mL reaches the alveoli, next air will come from the tidal volume, but it is very important to know that not all of them reaches the alveoli. Tidal volume will be divided into two parts. 350 mL from 500 mL of inspired tidal volume reaches the alveoli, and it would be added to the 150 mL which came before from anatomic dead space. Remaining 150 mL from that 500 mL of tidal volume stays and fills the anatomic dead space. Therefore, only these 350 mL of fresh air that reached the alveoli is considered as alveolar ventilation. Alveolar ventilation represents the room air, the fresh air that delivered to the respiratory zone per breath. To determine alveolar ventilation, we will use the following formula. Va equals Vt minus Vd times F, where Va is alveolar ventilation and Vt is the tidal volume, Vd is the dead space and F is um, respiratory frequency. Putting normal values into our equation, tidal volume is 500 mL minus dead space which is 150 mL multiplied by an average rate of 15 breaths per minute equals 5250 mL per minute. The alveolar ventilation per inspiration is 350 mL. So, to sum it up, you have to note that the total ventilation is much more than alveolar ventilation. 7,500 mL per minute to 5,250 mL per minute respectively. This equation shows that the volume of fresh air that enters the respiratory zone per minute depends on the pattern of breathing. If you breathe deep and increase the rate of breathing, you increase the ventilation.